Uh, my DNA determines the color of my eyes, my hair, my skin. To a certain extent, it even determines my height and even my health. But it's also a palimpsest of the stories of all my ancestors. Going all the way back in time, when my ancestor was not even a homo sapien or human. So what is a palimpsest? It's a manuscript written over years, maybe decades, centuries or even millennia, where we can glimpse, we can get a glimpse of the earlier years through the later years. So the DNA of each one of you is a palimpsest of the stories of all your ancestors. So it is possible to look at the DNA of people of today, not ancient, of today, from different nooks and corners of the world and reconstruct a common human story that goes way back in time, to the time when we humans were just hanging out in the savannas of Africa. So in 2005, National Geographic and IBM launched the Genographic Project to address exactly these kinds of genetic anthropological questions that gathering data from around the globe. Fast forward to today, we have collected more than 800,000 samples spanning across 140 different countries. So the success of the genographic is a mile wide, but it is also a mile deep. And I'll tell you why I say that in the next few minutes. Many of you may recall that when we started the Genographic Project, we talked about inferring the paternal lineage or maternal lineage of a DNA sample. The paternal lineage is deciphered from the Y chromosome data of a male that tells the story of his father, his grandfather, great-grandfather, and so on. And the maternal lineage is deciphered from the mitochondrial DNA of a female that tells the story of a mother her grandmother, her great-grandmother, and so on. And it turns out that the common history, whether maternal or paternal, is a tree structure where we have to reconstruct some events of the past. But we at research say we want to look at all the mixed lineages because there's a lot going on there, not just the purely paternal or purely maternal. So what does the structure look like? It's much more complex. Not only do we have to reconstruct many more events, even the topology is much more complex. It's no longer a tree. So this we dubbed the RICO project within genographic, RICO for recombinations. Nevertheless, with the new genographic data, we uncovered interesting maternal lineage stories around the continent of Africa, interesting paternal lineage stories around the Mediterranean. But RICO veered from the beta track. So its journey was long and tortuous, but I will not torture you with the details. Suffice it to say that we used ideas from discrete math, genomics, and so on, to model and, re and design algorithms to reconstruct the history. In fact, we were the first to reconstruct the recombinational history at a genomic scale. And our ideas and concepts were basic enough or fundamental enough that they have made their way into the curriculum of undergraduate and graduate courses in population genomics. It has also impacted other areas like plant genetics and even medical genetics. But coming back to the genographic project, uh, one of the striking results we got was that the journey of humans out of Africa was through the southern route of Babel Mande and not the northern Sinai route. In fact, we redrew the human migration map that includes deep incubation points in South Asia. And it turns out that it plays a much more important role in dispersal than was earlier anticipated. And we got many more such striking results. But I'll stop here in the interest of time. Thank you.